right now it's almost 11 o'clock. If I was a meteor, I'd be in bed tired. If I was a vegan, I probably would have enough energy to 8.39, 9, maybe max 9. And then, and then, uh, then show up for two hours. But what happens if you're a raw vegan? When you're a raw vegan, it, sorry. when you're a raw vegan, <laughs> and you get home at nine o'clock at night, I did my 300 push-ups. I did my 600, not great, but I did you know, 600 sit-ups. There's some other exercises, and it's almost 11 o'clock. So what I do now is I don't know if you can see it. I look at my chin-up bar. I think maybe I'll do maybe maybe about 10, 15. The other side of it is I look at this. This is my upstay down yoga machine. And I want to do some sit-ups. Maybe a hundred. Maybe I want to do some push-ups. Boom, boom, boom. There. And then I'll probably do some Igasku, which is right over there. This is what happens when you're a raw vegan. When you're a raw vegan, it's endless energy. You know what I mean? Endless energy. Which means, I'm going to do some sit-ups. I'll do maybe 10 pull-ups on there. I'll go to bed till like, I don't know, 6.37, get up and do some exercise. Then I'm starting at 9 o'clock, I'll begin my work routine, or whatever that is. Shopping, boom, 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 bang, boom, boom, boom. I got to see my grandkids, boom, boom, boom. You know, this is what you do. This is my whole thing. So the thing is, why do I have so much energy? The key is fruit. That's the key. I eat mostly fruit. Let me sit down with this. The key, I'm not going to turn upside down. Not now. The key is fruit. Which means I eat mostly bananas. There's no energy on digestion. I eat watermelon. There's no energy on digestion. I eat dates. I had some uh, banana whip smoothies. I stopped eating at 5 o'clock, 5.30. That means from 5.30 night to, to maybe 10 o'clock, it's 16 and a half, 17 hours of no food, no water. What that means, something called intermittent fasting. To me, that is the key for staying young. There's no food, no water, and it gives it a chance for my body to heal. I mean, a lot of people disagree with me. That's the way it is. The thing is, 73 years old, no aches, no pains, endless energy, working 14, 16 hours a day. That's the key. That's my housemate making some noise over there. <laughs> okay, so um, what are we going to do now? Huh? It's 3 o'clock. What else I want to talk about? Uh, today was an interesting day. I dealt with um, colitis. We did a video about this guy. And I told him point blank, he has to become a vegan or take medication the rest of his life. Now, I have at least three to five major success stories. People came to me, major whole straight of class, completely went away. Shout out to Haley Bell, shout out to Justin, shout out to Jessica. Colitis, gone. Even, even Roz had IBS, gone. And he had a choice. He had a very clear choice. When he left my store, he became vegan or no vegan. He bought my books, which was a good sign. He came back twice, to tell you the truth. I don't know. We had another lady who came to my store maybe about three days ago. She had a high blood pressure, and she also had uh, diabetes type 1, I think for 10 years. No, diabetes type 2 for 10 years. And she made a very clear choice. She went vegan that day. She joined my vegan challenge. To this day, I have a vegan challenge. What that means is you get a meal, and green smoothie every day except for Monday for 30 days for less than three hours and 60 cents a day. How do I do it? I don't. I lose money. That's just the way it is. That's called promotion. Okay? Right now, maybe I have three to five. Every month I have three to five people on it. I don't like to be more than five because five, because I subsidize $300 per person. Five people is $1,800 out of my pocket. So they, so they become vegan. I'm not bragging about it, but this is the way it is. Okay. Uh, 
So we had the other person was uh, heart disease. Uh, this young man bought it for his mother and his father, <laughs> a big and challenge because they've been suffering in the hospital. There's no problems with me. I tell people I'm not a doctor, I'm just a dishwasher. And that makes sense to you. If it doesn't make sense to you, don't do it. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not a doctor. What I'm prescribed is mostly fruits and vegetables. That's what I prescribe. When you eat mostly fruits and vegetables, the body, the 75 trillion cells, the 20,000 life units, the 380 trillion viruses in your system, of which corona is one, and the 16 billion bacteria in your system working together in unison with no energy on digestion, they'll go to heal your body. They'll heal your body if they can. That's a secret. There's no, there's no, there's no other, in my opinion, there's no other secret out there. That means if someone came to me with a major disease, I don't care what disease it is, I don't care whether it's corona, I don't care whether it's uh, ulcerative colitis, I don't care whether it's seizures, I don't care whether it's breast cancer, I don't care whether it's brain cancer, I don't, I don't care. It means the body is on overload. And if it's on overload, it has to create a crisis. If it creates a crisis in the ulcerative colitis, case, it's in the large intestine, where it does, it collects in the large intestine area, creates little pockets for it, to store the acid waste. For breast cancer, it stores in the breast area. For prostate, it stores in the prostate area. The body creates pockets to your benefit. It's based on love. Everything is based on love. If you have aches and pains, it's love. Everything is love. So you gotta do is, Remove the cause. You got to go to, you know, you need your seven, eight hours sleep a day. And your last meal is maybe 6.37. Don't eat again until the next day at 12, uh, 7, 7 p.m. I mean, 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 12 hours, no food, no, no food at least, at the very least. Plenty of sleep, exercise, fresh air, love, fasting. Anyway, I got, I got to go back to work. I got to do my, I'm going to say 10 pull-ups. I'm going to say 50, uh, upside down uh, sit-ups, I'm going to say maybe 30 push-ups on this. Anyway, bye for now, I got to go. Ah, yeah.